What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raise. A sequel to one of the cutest Pixar movies could follow Remy, Linguini, and Colette embarking on new adventures. But is there a possibility for us to see Ratatouille 2? Well, of course there is. I mean, we live in a world where sequels prevail, so what's stopping us from seeing one to Ratatouille? After all, we've seen sequels to some really bad movies, and now it's time for fans to finally get a continuation to a film that took the world by storm and came out almost two decades ago. Yeah, we know it's hard hard to believe, but Pixar's Ratatouille premiered on June 29, 2007. The animated masterpiece is considered a classic, and even people who haven't seen it know about it. So yeah, the film is incredibly successful, heartwarming, and captivating. It's the story of a country rat named Remy, voiced by Patton Oswalt, who has a great passion for food. After getting separated from his family, Remy finds himself below Gustio's, his favorite Parisian restaurant. He then creates a special bond with a person person named Linguini, who works at the previously mentioned restaurant. Thanks to Ratatouille's culinary mastery, the restaurant becomes one of the best ones in the world. Isn't it the cutest story of all time? Now, let's see if a sequel is happening anytime soon, shall we? For those of you desperately waiting for a continuation to Ratatouille, we have some bad and some good news. The bad news is, is that a continuation is not confirmed yet. The good news is, is that most reports claim that a sequel will happen, and it's just a matter of time. The Pixar Disney film has been praised by both fans and critics all over the world, but the film has also faced some criticism. Believe it or not, there's a huge group of people who don't like the adult element in Ratatouille. These people claim that Disney and Pixar should make their films only for a certain target group, kids. We honestly don't know what to say about this, but we want to hear your opinion. I I want to mention that my favorite thing about Disney and Pixar films is the fact that the story has always a strong message, and for me, that's the point of the films. But as previously mentioned, some people believe the movie is way too adult. Anyways, Disney confirmed that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Now, let's jump into more details regarding the much-awaited continuation. The restaurant was closed, and Ego lost his job and his credibility, but don't feel too bad for him. Let's say the sequel gets a green light in 2022. The creators decide to make another film, and production on the film starts this year. We still have to wait for years before we'll be able to see the next installment. This is because Disney works longer on projects than the other film companies. Disney wants to focus on quality, and unless they come up with a good story for a continuation, they won't make one. It's that simple. They pay attention to detail, characters, and storylines, so our guess is that the potential sequel will come out sometime in 2024. At the the earliest. Honestly, we don't mind as long as it happens. The bad news is that if a sequel happens, it won't be by the creator of the first film. I robbed the second largest bank in France using only a ballpoint pen. I created a hole in the ozone of Rabin. Sadly, he's not interested in a continuation. Brad Bird, the creator of Ratatouille, noted that he doesn't like the idea of Ratatouille 2. Let's see if he has a point, shall we? Before we get into details, we need you to know that we're talking about one of the most talented people in the film industry. Bird is the creator of The Incredibles, which was already given a sequel. You see, it's possible for Disney films to get a continuation, but it took him 14 years to make Incredibles 2. According to the amazingly talented creator, it took him so long simply because he didn't want to make one. However, he decided to write a continuation because the story ended with a space for a sequel. Sadly, that's not exactly the case with Ratatouille because the film concluded on a perfect note, with the characters given a happily ever after. Although, that does not mean that a second film has nowhere to go, it's quite the opposite. There are a lot of concepts for a sequel. Since the first film already gave a happy ending, the sequel could focus on new obstacles given to the lead characters. As you already know, Remy and Linguini went through a lot of struggles in order to manage to work in the restaurant and be accepted. However, Bird has confirmed that he's really not into the idea of a sequel and would rather focus on doing something new rather than creating a poor sequel to something that was already given a beautiful and proper ending. 
ending. Sadly, we can't do anything except respect his decision. Since Bird is more interested in creating something new, a potential sequel will be created by another person, which is really not cool to be honest. First of all, the first installment has such a masterpiece thanks to Bird's writing and directing abilities. A sequel by someone else could feel totally different. We have to ask, do you think Ratatouille deserves a second part? Let us know. Now, we previously mentioned this and we'll go through it again. Perhaps the film should be left alone and maybe it's best if the sequel never happens. Perhaps we can obsess over Bird's new projects. Maybe, just maybe, we should all listen to Bird and accept that a sequel might ruin the first film. Yeah, there are plenty of directions a continuation could go, but then again, these directions wouldn't be a direct continuation to the first film because as already mentioned, the first film ended on a happy note. The sequel will have to feature new obstacles and these obstacles will have nothing to do with previous films. Some fans claim that the companies should stop making sequels and focus on new projects instead. They also say this about reboots, remakes, and prequels. Disney has done sequels to some films and some of them have a repetitive plot, despite being in the making for years. This could also happen with Ratatouille, which is why a lot of fans agree that the film needs to be one movie and that they should be leaving it alone no matter what the fans want. Going in a whole different direction for the sake of another part could destroy the first film, and that's something no one wants. Several years ago, there were some rumors for a spin-off, but nothing was confirmed, and honestly, we think that a sequel would be a much better idea than a spin-off or any kind of continuation other than a direct one to the first film. Don't you guys agree? Now, despite a lot of fans claiming that Ratatouille needs to be left alone, there's also a large group of fans that strongly believes the film deserves a second part. Throw it on the pile, I guess, and then we'll, you know. We don't want to throw this in with the garbage. This is special. Dedicated fans have spent a lot of time waiting for Pixar to at least consider a sequel to Ratatouille. As already mentioned, we finally got a sequel to The Incredibles, after 14 years since the film was greenlit. The wait ended for The Incredibles 2. Once this continuation premiered, fans couldn't help but ask Pixar and Disney to make one of their cutest and most captivating films, Brad Bird's Ratatouille. I mean, ever since the pandemic, this film has been the center of the internet. With TikTok videos of it going viral, you you already know that the director has stated that he personally isn't interested in making a continuation, but that doesn't mean that a continuation will never happen. With the first film's growing popularity, we believe it's just a matter of time until the story is continued. With the plot of the first film itself, it doesn't demand a sequel. The need for one is as huge as fans can't get over the film's characters. It has been confirmed that it's time for you to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Now, a sequel could simply focus on the same characters as we follow Remy Linguini and Colette in their new restaurant La Ratatouille. That would be fun to watch for sure. We'll see you in the next video.